All right, let's see how much further we can get tonight. I have a suspicion that there might be a boss fight coming up. Oh, these are just meant to like heal you, aren't they? Because they're right there by the save point. And they give you big health. Look at that. Massive. Oh, come on. Lame. Ah. I want to activate those. What is that? It's like it's got a blue circle. Actually, wait. Wait, can I? I can't get out. Okay, then I must be able to figure that out. Whatever is going on. It's not missiles, not bombs, not thing. It looks like the Chozo thing, so I assume it is literally just that you just have to activate them. But how? Oh, wait. Oh, wait. What? Hold on. Yeah. That's the power of observation. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Analysis inconclusive. Item incompatible with current suit. It was, it was all worth it. Oh, it activated those though. So that's something. Who knows how much of a thing, but something. Hmm. That's going to be back down, right? So... It's such a cool feeling with these games specifically going off the map. It, it's it's so cool because like, it's already kind of hard to navigate the regular map because you have to still work your way around it. It's just a square. It doesn't tell you anything useful. But then the moment you break out of the boundaries and start adding new chunks to the map, it's so satisfying. I mean, honestly, game-breakingly powerful items aren't that uncommon in Metroid. The screw attack is like one of the most absurd abilities in a video game. <laughs> Another save room, wow. We've been playing for four minutes, we got to a new save room. For, for those gamers on the go. Is it? Hold on. There is a way up. There we go. Oh, was it all that just to loop around? It's 
Oh, okay, I can actually get that for once. And now a bomb one. There we go. Alright, going left seems like a good idea. Maybe. Hmm. Alright, this seems like a lot. Why is it so tight? I don't know what they want for this. It's so long. <laughs> like, I guess it's just like a morph ball thing, but like... I assume I just have to break those things, but like, how do you break them? Oh, okay. Wait, is this a place I- oh no. Uh oh, am I gonna have to go back around now? I hope we got enough rewind then, if that ends up being the case. Just missiles? It, is it? No, it's not. Yeah, no, this area is a problem because I can't aim the missiles down. But yeah, there we go. Oh yeah, and this this is the missile I was thinking of. Okay, so I can get back up there now if I want to. Alright. Let's go the other way. Oh, okay. Not what I was expecting exactly. <laughs> Man, I've been everywhere except for the, for uh, where Crate is. Oh yeah, I know he's just a missile tank, you're right. Oh, that area. In and out. All right. <laughs> All right, and then this should be the thing. I think there's a like a cube that I have to do. I remember right. Yeah, right here. Yeah. That's the power of memory. Okay, one time I broke a, a block and all the acid went away, but I don't want to just assume that's going to ha keep happening. I guess I, I can just rewind, can't I? Okay, well. I'll show me.
Ah, wait, why is that? Hmm. Again, I thought I had something there, but nah. Oh, this is a new place. Hold on. Can I go up and around? Oh, I can. What? Oh, jeez. Alright, so that, that sure filled out the map, and <laughs> that's about it. I guess that's a convenient way to get back, except for the massive enemies at the end. It's interesting how there's just enough end lag your jump to get about three shots in before you go back to your standing position. Hmm. Man, another one. They better give me the screw attack fast. I'm guessing this is gonna lead me right to Kraid, so is Kraid not where I'm supposed to go first? The thing, the sign's even on the opposite end of the, the, the thing. Oh. Okay. <laughs> well, there we go. <laughs> Ooh, there's a crack. No? Okay. Never know what to think of this game. Ooh, hey, it's one of these. It's been a bit. Oh, that was easy. Huh. I was expecting a little mini fight. All right, here you go. Ooh. Cutscene. Not his fingernails. <laughs> ah. Clipped my leg. Oh, you can just blow them up. I think we're at a stalemate. <gasps> there we go. Just have to hit the eye. I bet when it screams like that. Hold on, let me check. No, you can't get him to swallow it? Really? That's like anti-video game boss design. Unless hitting that, I just noticed it's not flashing, so that actually might just be to get it to open its mouth. And then you hit it. It might just not be. Maybe I'm not being precise enough. Hold on.
Ah, wrong way. Oh, wait. That's the exact right angle. Hold on. Ah, man, those fingernails are weird. No, okay. It's not happening. Like, maybe the eye is just all you need? But it really does feel like the mouth is, like, explicitly telling you. So generous of health, I'm getting more health than I started with. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I wasn't being precise enough. That sucks. And how many hits like this thing? Yeah, Metroid games usually have pretty high boss hit counts. Ah, man. That's so precise. Oh, there we go. He's darkening. It's not that bad. Oh, no. It's bad. Never mind. Oh, no. Ugh. Well, there's the real fight. Jeez, oh man, this is the... Now here's the Metroid boss I remember. The clusterfuck. Oh, jeez. Oh, man. <sighs> there just starts to be so much stuff and so little room to maneuver. Like that. Oh, was that it? All right, that's one. We did got him. We got a minuscule amount of health back as a reward. Am I going to have to wait until I get the screw attack in order to get the that last corner of the boss room? Hey, speed booster. Nice, we've got warbs in chat. Or until speed boost begins to break. Certain blocks... <laughs> Oh, there we go. Yeah, that makes more sense. And damage enemies. Now, does this game have Engage Ridley Motherfucker? Oh, I thought this would be like the... the the place to test the speed booster.
There we go, yeah. Nope. Oh, this is the place I've already been. Oh. Ah. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> Things come back. There we go. There's some speed. Oh. So that line is right there. It's for you to shine spark if you know what you're doing. Man, there's so many speed barriers, though. Oh, hold on. Do they actually want me to... Uh... Like... Yeah. Do they want you to shine spark? Like, actually? Because, like... That's a lot. <laughs> oh, hold on. Auto mod. gonna have to explain engage ruby motherfucker well no it's not ruby it's engage ridley motherfucker uh in the original metroid there's a password system because there's no saves so you get passwords instead and one thing you can input uh that actually does work is you can type in engage ridley motherfucker and it and that'll uh i, I forget what it does exactly it's the, in, in the same vein like there's um Justin Bailey, which will let you play as Suitless Samus. With, I think, with all upgrades. I can't say I'm much of a Metroid 1 expert. Hopefully it engages Ridley, like, marriage? Alright, where are some flat areas where I can start sprinting? No! Oh, why would you do that to me? No! Hey! It all worked out. Call him motherfucker and he blushes? Well, yeah. Because he knows about Mother Brain. That's just embarrassing for him. <sighs> it's going to be nice to have the gravity suit and not have to worry about that anymore. The way it slows you down is a problem. Ah, jeez. Eh? This is like the strictest wall jump I can think of in a video game. Because you have to move, you have to have forward momentum, you have to be flipping, and then you have to jump in the opposite direction while attached to a wall. God. Look at this, I can't even get it to trigger. Oh man. And yeah, consecutive wall jumps.
based on how many times Ridley comes back embarrassing is the only way to harm him. No, missiles work pretty well. Look at this set piece. Damn it! I couldn't freeze them fast enough. Oh no, I gotta... I'm not doing that again. Sorry. Okay, we'll start by aiming down. And then we'll do this! God, that is... a lot! There we go. It all worked out. <sighs> no. I'm gonna master this by the end, I swear. Never mind that I've played Metroid Fusion a bunch and haven't mastered it then. Alright. Where to now? I've, I've been complaining about those speed blocks so often, but now I have to actually find a flat open space to use them. This looks flat. Ah! Right, remember this. An E tank would be. No! Oh, this is. Mmm. This is awful. Don't. Why would you do this? Oh, that's so bad. Alright, this time I'll jump. Yeah! Nope! Whoa! Yay! Alright, are there any other long, flat areas? Eh, there's a couple O's, but... Oh! Oh no, it's Ridley! From Metroid! Hey, what? Oh, come on. That's mean. <laughs> Metroid is a little bit of a mean-spirited game, honestly. <laughs> you did hear you talking shit. Alright, back to Norfair, apparently. To there. <laughs> is that a big bird coffin in the background? I guess it is. Oh, I just realized that's like a on the map, that's a pink bird face. I thought that was like the letter A. But it's bird. Is it like a throne? There's nowhere to sit.
Oh. I've not been to that criteria elevator? Hold on. Can I not? I have new abilities now, so maybe I can. Okay. I mean, I guess I can't get up there then. This is the start of the game. bit of ways away from Norfair. Oh, they got a little flame there. Yeah, I can get to Turian once I beat Ridley. And I guess that's pretty much close to the end of the game, isn't it? It's almost like this is an NES game or something. I haven't got any suit upgrades yet. Much less a zero suit. They added stuff to pad the game with this pretty decent additions. I mean, yeah. There's I mean they added cutscenes for one thing. <laughs> but yeah, no, there's a there's a lot of changes, which that's why I said I think this is a really cool remix. It's a it's very much a reimagining. It's not the same game in really any capacity beyond having the same basic structure and enemies and stuff like that. Like, you do fight them. You do fight Kraid and Ridley and stuff, but now you can do more than that. This seems a bit flat. Let's see. Well, not that flat. Hold on. Ah. Well, there goes my dreams. I'm sure I'll find a flat area eventually. See the zero suit when she dies? Yeah, but I haven't acquired it for my use. Oh, what the heck? That looks like a screw attack. If I had to guess. Hmm, okay. I really don't know which of these would actually lead to anything. Can't do anything about that hot room either. this this I feel like this is not the right way to go but it's so hard to tell oh I got my speed boost just didn't do much for me 
I don't remember a whole lot of flat areas. Yeah, there's nothing down here. Oh well. Mm, wait, oh, Criteria had a place. Hold on. Oh. And a left I go. Oh, hey. Huh. Kind of going at this from the wrong angle, apparently, but... Hmm. That's weird. Hold on. Oh, yeah, there we go. That's something. Not the thing I was thinking of, but it's something. How do I get the speed up, though? Yeah, no, what? Oh, I need the gravity suit because it's in water. Damn. Um. I could go up and around, maybe. Yeah, this water area. I mean, I don't know. Sometimes you usually have to go through like a water area to get to, um, what's it like the gravity suit, so you get like the contrast. So you never know, but oh, camera's doing something. Oh well, <laughs> dead end. That may be a screw attack thing, just because of the infinite height. Oh no. No. If you look at the, the tablet tower or whatever I'm sitting I'm climbing on, they all say oh no. See? Oh no. Alright, now, down I go. Oh. Now can I get the speed built up? I'm... Hmm. I'm thinking maybe not, actually. Man! Hmm. Oh, could I... Hold on. I can just test this myself. Can I just get the speed from here? That didn't work. Well, pff, that didn't work. <laughs> now, nah, you, you, when you land, hmm, how do you get the speed then? Like, you need so much flat space. Samus was deposited into her home. <laughs> hmm, alright, well, that's as far back as it goes, I guess. Hmm. 
Man, I thought I was onto something there, but apparently not. It's been a kind of a trend with this stream. At least I'm on the right end of this now, so I can get back easily. That was so much nothing. Okay, now I gotta go back to searching for flat spaces. And I cannot jump. I have to get all of that speed legit. Those things are really there to blindside you and then give you your health back. They do like 8 damage, but they give you 20 more often than not. Okay, that actually was maybe something. Can I maintain my speed? If I jump. And will that get me anything? Oh, wow! I feel like that was meant to go a bit further. Oh yeah, you do have to go out of your way to try. The speed booster's always been kind of finicky because you do just need so much of a running start. Oh, why does it stop me? It's so mean. Don't bounce me. Can break all of those. Hmm, there's that thing up there. And this is just incorrect. This is vertical. <laughs> Although, honestly, I feel like I haven't made very full use of the ice beam yet either, so who knows? I don't think I can do anything about this yet. Like, I don't know, again, Metroid does like to put you in a dangerous situation and, like, test it. And then you get your reward at the end. But, yeah, no, it's just a missile tank. This identical room does not have a heat problem.
Is this something? I don't think it is. Wait, hold on. That's a normal door. Oh. Damn it. Wait. I swear, because I... The, there's star right there. Did I just... Die and not get go back there or something? Heat does rise, you're right. If you if you interpret this map as as super literal, there's like a, two lava caves stacked on top of each other. Yeah, this is all old news. Ah, no. Go on. Don't be shy. <laughs> hmm. Wait, hold on. But where's the thing? This is very much the wrong place to be. Some power bombs would be nice now to just reveal all the secrets. Oh god, right, this is where I am. Well, I found a new room, but it was a save room. Oh, what? Oh, you have to go back around. Damn it. Just to be sure. Nope, damn it, didn't want to do that. Okay, yeah, it just all breaks. All the way down. Okay. Where to next, then? Well, that's how you're supposed to use it. Go back? Why? Where? <coughs> what am I going back for? Man, even landing from the speed boost just negates it. Go all the way down. <coughs> but there is no further down. Oh. There's this. Is this something? Damn it! Are they gonna come back? Thank you. <coughs> I was too late. God.
No, 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 no. Oh, that was close. I really want to destroy these things. They're annoying. Oh, geez, what? Where are you? Hmm. Can't do anything about that. And this is another one of those trap rooms, isn't it? Now I've got no way out. So i got to figure it out. Oh, is this the screw attack area? It must be then, right? Wait, is the green barrier for speed boosting? Does that work? mash our way through and see. No, I can't do it fast enough. Hold on. Okay. Just fast enough. Let's find out. Ugh. Just fast enough. Emphasis on just. Hmm, okay. Well, I didn't do anything. Let's try again. Do something else. What is the trick? Oh. <laughs> they tricked me. They tantalized me. It is kind of crazy how they give you the ice beam so early and it can freeze most enemies. Hey! The high jump! More games should be calling their high things H-I, not H-I-G-H. Increases maximum jump height. Thank God. Adds Morph Ball Jump capability. Interesting. I assume the high jump is just regular Samus jump in other games. That seems to be like the theme of the new power-ups here. High Potion Gang rise up. No, yeah, exactly. Final Fantasy 16 automatically has lost like 8 points by calling it High Potion instead of High Potion. It's just incorrect. Yeah. Probably should have checked if there was something to do in that room first. Oh well. Or I can bomb jump now too, or not bomb jump, but the other thing. Regular jump. Morph jump. No? Hmm. 
No, oh, tell me to go there now? Okay. In terms of guidance, it does feel kind of strange. Like, I feel like, oh, what's that? This is like the kind of thing where it's like when you're playing the game on the NES and you're just, oh, when you're just exploring, it becomes more of a thing of like, yeah, you're just exploring these caves and finding what you find. When it's trying to be like, uh, yes, the Chozo guidance will take you there. And it's just like <laughs> ping pong you all over the place. I guess arguably it's just pointing you to the next power up. Music's ominous. Can't even do anything with it. The way it's animated is so freaky. All right, well, I guess I'll just leave it be. Oh, did that take me higher? Hold on. No, we're just back to here. Okay. But I can jump higher now. So that's something. Although, again, like the... Like the speed booster, I don't exactly know where... Uh, I've been able to, like, thought of, like, Oh, I, just, I would feel like I could jump a little bit higher. That'd be nice. I don't know what that actually would be. Oh, wait a second. Not quite. Damn it. <laughs> ah, so close. Damn. Wait a second. Huh, that looks like such an obvious spot to put, like, a bomb thing. Guess it was too obvious. Headed up now. Back to Brinstar, right? We're going from atmospheric music to melodic. It's been so long. I forgot what music sounds like. directly that is like if I go straight is that gonna work out it's a good question me ah this jump is so much nicer though 
It really, the old jump does genuinely feel too short. Same with how the beam at the very start feels way too short because that's how it was in the old game. And they just had to get around that quick. No. Oh man. Ugh. No, I've already been that way. Could jump high enough already to get that. What about this way? Oh, there was something here, wasn't there? You know, Metroid would actually really benefit from the putting stuff on your map thing that some of the Zeldas had. Like the DS ones and like the newer games in general have them. That'd be- whoa, what the- what? Hmm. That's new, I think. Not a fan of that. It's not glowing, so I can't do anything to it. It's probably for the best. Well, yeah, no way. I can't do anything about this. Okay, well then... Hmm. What else is in this area? Like, it's probably a case of going up and around, right? And yeah, which power would it be looking for specifically to get there? Oh, nope, this seems like a really bad decision. I have a lot of health though, so it's fine. That actually wasn't that bad at all. left of the save room and look up. Like this? Oh. Sure, I guess. <laughs> so that's something you could absolutely have done just with wall jumping if I'd known that was there. I saw those enemies, but I just thought they were like decoration. No, 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 ah. Just a dude's crawling in the shadows? Yeah, I, like I said, I thought it was decoration. Huh, okay, well now I guess I gotta deal with these. Wait, what happened to that? Whoa, what? Did the bugs eat them? What happened? Oh, damn it. No. Mm, yeah. Are you something? No. No. I'm getting a feeling of what the new power-up might be. Yeah, no, the bug's are totally eating it. Weird. Cool. No! Oh, this camera angle is not helping me!
environmental storytelling. I mean, yeah, Metroid is super good about that. There's so many good examples of it in uh, Fusion. I love it. Very suit, yeah. And I do know that there's a heat area I can go to. It, have to. it has a missile tank in it, but hey. Decreases damage taken from enemies. Prevents damage from acid and heat. Yeah. Oh, that looks way better. The yellow does, is not as flattering on the Game Boy. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's like the correct color for Samus. There we go. She orange. It's true. Ha, ah, fool. The bugs can't get me now. Not if I dive into acid. Oh, hold on. Ooh, an E-tank. Okay. Hopefully I can get that. Nothing? Really? There's only so much I can do in the acid. Hey! We're making our way there slowly. Don't know why they did it this way, but okay. Can I go this way too? Nah, it's a shame. Are they, can it make her immune to bug bites is the question. Okay. Okay, so acid does open up a lot of places, but there's a, that heat room specifically. Hmm. Well, either way, it's as good of a place as any to call it for tonight. Thanks everyone for tuning in. We'll be back again tomorrow for more of this, and then we'll switch over to another Metroid 2 remake. See where that goes.